Hi, I'm Jill Ferris. This is Cooking for Bachelors. We're going to have a fish and shrimp dinner. I'm starting with this red snapper, which is absolutely beautiful. The way I order my fish is butterfly, head and tail on. I just like the head and tail because there's actually meat all the way down and sometimes butchers will cut and kind of jip you of that good meat. Butterfly means that the bones are taken out. But do be careful and feel your, around your fish before you cook it or after you cook it before you eat it to see if there indeed are any bones that are left. You know a fish is fresh if it smells like the sea. If it has that funky fish odor, it's probably not fresh. And the other way you could tell, well, especially in a fresh fish, is if the eyes are nice and clear. And these red snappers, they're beautiful red eyes, and they're certainly clear. We're going to stuff this fish with vegetables and cook it closed in the foil in the oven. First thing you want to do is, after the fish is, of course, clean, is make some slices in the body so you can fit some stuff in there. You'll do it on both sides. You don't have to go all the way through. You just want to make a little slice. And we're going to stuff a bunch of things in there. And again, this is up to you. Here's what I'm going to use. I'm going to put some garlic slices. I like, I like to always put my garlic right inside the meat there because it really helps all of the meat to get flavored. So our garlic slices are going in the skin and they're going inside as well. Now remember, when you're cooking garlic like this, it's not going to be potent. The way it's really, really potent is when you crush it in little pieces and eat it raw. Okay. I also love to put lemons in this and tomatoes. I think we're going to put some tomatoes right in the cavity and we'll save some for the outside. We're going to use some dill. I'm just going to put it in there whole like that and grab it out when we're finished because I don't always like to eat the dill. And the parsley. Again, this is everything is your choice. You can use fresh ginger. You can use peppers if you like. And I also like in this to use scallions. And scallions are a little bit different than onions because they're very green and have that fresh flavor. So I'm going to close this up. I'm going to add some more lemons. I mean, this is just amazing. Isn't that beautiful? All right, we're going to sprinkle some sea salt because that's where we come from. And some fresh ground pepper. And you really don't need much more than that. I'm going to start bringing it up and making a pocket, and then I'll be able to pour my wine in. Make sure that your foil fits your fish before you do this step, because if you get a new piece of foil, you're going to drop a lot of this. So be careful. So I'm going to crush it at the ends to make sure I have these little pockets that I can pour my wine into. And I'm going to pour white wine. It's just going to cover the bottom a little bit. I'll tell you how much for this. Maybe about an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch in the bottom. It's kind of wet. I don't know if you could see that. And that's going to steam right in the wine. Leave some space. You want some steaming space in there, but you want to close it all up. This should go in the oven for about 20 minutes. That all depends on how big your fish is. This is a fairly large fish, as you could see. There are fish that are half this size, and 10 to 15 minutes are fine. You don't want to overcook the fish, but this, in this method, they really won't overcook because it's got the wine. It will stay wet. It will not dry out. I'm going to put this in the oven and come back and do the vegetables. I had to squish the foil down to fit it in there. You make sure you have room for it. Here are beautiful red snappers come out of the oven. And I'm just going to taste this sauce. Mmm. I taste the wine and the lemon and the fish. It's just wonderful. And to accompany it, we have perfectly cooked bismani rice, a great shrimp scampi, garlic, red peppers, parsley, and oil, and these beautiful shiitake mushrooms and kale, which we're going to add some salt to because remember we didn't salt it when it was cooking. And again, it's add your own to your taste. Now I'd like you to try this at home. I think this is going to be a great meal. And you can do any part of it. 
whether you want just the shrimp and the rice or the whole thing.